Secure your business's future with up to 50 million rand in finance for systems and technology upgrades from Business Partners Limited, the entrepreneur's financier. In today's fast-changing world, technology has revolutionized the way we communicate and do business. However, with the rise of digital innovations comes the growing threat of cybercrime. Criminals are using sophisticated programs to breach company systems and steal critical data. Investing in cybersecurity is crucial to protecting your business and maintaining trust with your clients. And while it may seem daunting and costly, the long-term benefits far outweigh the risks. So Hamel, thank you very much for joining us. Um, let's talk about the best ways to reinforce cybersecurity um, in an organization. What does that look like? Uh, if we think about um, best practices, there's many out there. Um, the one we usually recommend to our clients is the ISO 27001. Uh, slash two information security standard. It's quite a comprehensive standard in that it has a lot of different types of controls in cybersecurity as well as information security that if an organization were to implement, um, they could definitely improve their cybersecurity control environment. So again, that's best practice. Now, should you adopt the 27001 standard, uh, what you would have, like I said earlier on, is a lot of controls. Mm -hmm. But you'd start off by defining a cybersecurity strategy, and then linked to that, you'd have governance through a cybersecurity policy. Within your policy, you could define certain cybersecurity measures that you want to implement to improve your cyber defenses. Simple example could be password management, or uh, how to deal with viruses, anti-malware solutions, how to deal with um, vulnerabilities in technologies, how to deal with patch management. So those are some of the best practices that are out there. One that I would strongly recommend from a best practice perspective is to test your technology defenses. Um, that doesn't mean you appoint a professional services company to come in to pretend to be hackers, um, to try and breach your technologies, to highlight gaps to you so that you can plug those gaps and basically improve your control environment. Tell us about the training of staff um, and why it's so important that they are well versed in cybersecurity. I look at employees of an organization to be the first line of defense against cyber criminals. Now, if your employees do not know what to do in, you know, in dealing with a cybersecurity incident, they could expose um, the organization to further risk. So in dealing with all of these threats, all staff need to have good foundational training. Now, what do we recommend to our clients when it comes to you know, awareness and training? We tell our clients have a robust cybersecurity training program in place um, that is sort of embedded into the business's culture. Test your employees' awareness. Um, conduct what we call social engineering uh, techniques or attacks, but non-malicious ones. So I'm not sure if you heard of the uh, term phishing before. It's when you send out an email with clickbait in it and we entice someone to click on a link and you hit that link and you redirect it to a malicious website where you'd enter your username and password. And I'm sitting there just listening to your username and password. I'll take that information and try and compromise the organizational network. So. It's stuff like that where we say, you know, really provide training in those spaces. Why should a company be prioritizing things like um, data backups? Having really good, strong uh, backup strategies and multiple redundant sets of data sets all over is quite important for an organization. Should you have a malfunction of a piece of hardware, um, you know, you can restore from backups that you may, might have made. Another key important factor on why data, uh, data backups is important is it's a regulatory requirement in many industries. Many regulators do require uh, organizations to do backups of their technologies so that their business can operate into the foreseeable future. Why should an organization consider cyber insurance, um, especially because it is an extra cost? So the way I look at you know, cybersecurity insurance is just like you would have long and short term insurance with your car, for example. Um, you never know when you might have that accident. The same applies to cybersecurity insurance. You'll never know when you might be hacked, but at least you have some sort of peace of mind that you have that cover should there be a security breach. This episode of Future Fit was sponsored by Business Partners Limited, the entrepreneur's financier, proud supporters of SMEs for over 41 years.